Okay, guys, so we're here today for the gameplay. I've got a cam camera showing the play field. I think it shows up, yeah, because here's the control panels like right here. So I got the whole play field. Don't have the DMD, but I'm not really worried about the DMD. So the gameplay is what people want to look at, see if there's any lag. I'm going to start off with the at games table, and I have everything turned on. Still to turn on and everything. See if there's any lag on. I'm going to do this Dinosaur Dynasty one. Okay. New pre-order order available. Back. Okay, we want to play. I'll still get used to the menu. The menu system in this thing is pretty awesome. I, I really like the new menu system Dinosaur they have. History. Dinosaur Dynasty. I can, I can kind of show that after this game too. So we're going to start off with Dinosaur Dynasty and then we're going to go to uh, the Adams Family. See if there's any lag on that as well. If everybody says there's lag, we'll see. Welcome to Dinosaur Dynasty. Okay, so there's the ball. So I'm going to pull back the plunger. We'll see if there's any lag on the plunger. You just kind of take my word for it. Okay, I'm going to pull back now. One, two, three. Okay, so the plunger, hopefully you can see it down here. I don't know how well it's coming up. But the plunger is moving with the plunger, the physical plunger. Okay. It seems like the flipper, there's no, don't, doesn't seem to be any flipper lag. Man, I suck, but... Pressing the button, and the flipper is, is going. Okay, so I'm holding it up. I'm going to let go of the button. It drops. Hit the button. Man, that's the stink. Um, <clears throat> the solenoids are firing. The flippers are moving exactly when I hit the button. So I would say Wagner's pretty correct on his um, milliseconds. Because there, if there's lag on this table... I can't see it. I'm not good enough to see it. It seems really good to me. The plunger seems good. There's no lag with the plunger. As I'm moving it back and forth, it moves. See, so I'm nudging the table. Actually moving the table itself. And I can see it's moving. I don't know if it's coming up on the camera. Yeah, I think you can see. Oh, shit. I tilted it. So, there we go. Tilt. Okay, so the nudge is working with the solenoids. Uh, not a problem. My last ball. Okay, I suck, but stay on target. Okay, save the ball. Ball saved. Kill shot. Earthquake! That's a pretty cool effect. <laughs> and it drained. Damn. Okay, I don't know if this is loud enough or not. Okay, so that's Dinosaur Dynasty. Okay, let's go to... That's the game. Go back to the menu. Okay, so here's the menu, guys. So you got all your games. They're all in here. The ones that came with the table. Okay, there's Adam's Family. Um, then you got your settings. I love this new format they have for uh, the menu. I like it a lot. So you pretty much do everything. I haven't really messed with the, like, the background music and colors yet. 
you got all your information on here. And I did find where you can do the cabinet views. There's just two views. I wish I could remember where that was at. It wasn't under the UI. Um, let me see if I can find it. UI settings. Okay. UI settings is the background audio, the background mood, screen brightness, table view mode. That's your for your menu. You do a list or tiled. That's like the old. And then scrolling speed balanced, I have it at. And then pinball play field preview, only in list view mode, enable back high score and DMD options. You could do artwork or you could do a description. Description is a description of the table, or you can do the artwork. Okay. Track mode, I don't think it's under there either. Track mode is a video screensaver, yeah. Video sound server download. Dang it, man. There's your mapping. That. That's for your solenoids and that. This is under here. Okay, there's the music, FX, display mode. Okay, there it is there. It is under pinball game settings. Your display mode. This is for all your games. You have two views. You got cabinet and you got classic. You have the back box style. You have full, best fit, stretch. I have mine up full. I think that's what it came standard. Then flipper mode, combined or separate. And then you got everything you can reset all settings and reset all tables. Okay, so that's where that was. Okay, let's go into Adam's family here. This, I have everything turned on. I have ball trails on, floating height scores, the different view. So solenoids are on, everything's on. So we'll see if there's any lag on here. This is the big table every saying there's a lot of lag. And I'm gonna, after this, I'm gonna go and play it on Steam and see how it's set up on Steam as well. Cause I noticed the solenoids kick when the flippers are already up. So I think that might be how it plays, but we'll play it on Steam after this. Okay. So here's your menu. You go in here, you got your leaderboard, you got your rules, and then you have your settings. And then you got the floating scores on, you got the ball trails on, and then you got the visual extras on. So we'll play with everything on, see how it goes. Let's hit play. Let's look at the plunger again. It's down here, the plunger. Okay, I'm gonna pull the plunger. One, two, three. Okay, the plunger doesn't seem to be too bad. Pull again, one, two, three. There seems to be a slight lag on the plunger, but not bad. Pretty much with it. again okay so I'm gonna flip the flipper one two three so it, I don't know I mean it hit the flipper one two three now I do hear the sonar clicking when it's up all the way but I think that's how it might play see how I hear the clunk afterwards now put it back up, then you hear the click when it's at the highest peak of the flipper. We'll, we'll find out when we play it on Steam, see if it's the same or not. But the solenoid does kick at the top, and then when you let go, it clicks at the, when it's all the way down. And you can hear that clunk clunk. But does, is that how it's supposed to play? We'll find out.
It definitely seems like a little bit lag on the flippers, but not as bad as what people are saying. Um, I mean, the flipper is basically going when I'm hitting it. I mean, it's... Ash. I didn't say I was very good at this game. Even that top flipper seems to be okay. I'm not seeing any glitches in the frames either. Um, I know people talked about there's some micro glitches. I'm not seeing that either. But let me know. If, I mean, if you see it while I'm playing here, um, let me know. Okay, there it goes. Okay, let's play one more time here. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Okay. Let's go into settings. Let's turn off the visuals. I'm not seeing any, uh, a lot of lag, though. Okay, let's turn everything off here. And let's go back. See if it plays any better. Okay. There's a countdown. Okay. The visuals are off. Ah, jeez, I didn't get a chance. One thing I did notice, the, the nudge on this uh, Adam family, man, it's crazy. I mean, you barely touch the thing. Watch, I'll touch, hit it here. I mean, look, look how much that button, table moves. I'm barely hitting it. I mean, it's crazy. So nudge works. Okay, definitely, I don't, I don't see any lag in the, in, um, Um, once again, I'm going to hit the flipper. One, two, three. Let go. It's going, I mean. In the response, I don't really see a lot of lag in the response. I hear the solenoid clicking. I don't know if it's clicking late or is that way it's supposed to play. I mean, the flipper's going as fast as I can click it. Oh, oh, oh. almost tilted it again. Right when you push the plungers, there's a little delay. But once it starts going, it pretty much moves with the plunger. Terribles. If there was any lag with everything turned on, there's no lag with the flippers with everything turned off. The only thing we got to find out is how the solenoids are supposed to fire on the real one. Hopefully, Steam playing on Steam will give us that. Hey, finally got the electric chair. See, that ball came at me real fast, and I was able to get the flipper up. It's not a problem. Ah. Yeah, I 
definitely see a little delay on the plunger. Oh, the magnets must have been turned on. The ball did a little funky there, in the middle there. Ah! The hand just took my ball! Quick multiple, shoot the bolt! Oh! Oh, I want the ball! That's look true! Ah, man, I, I always drain the multi balls. Oh, yeah, do you see it doing funky right in there where the magnets would be? Ooh, I, tell you one thing, man. For the Adams family. Tilt sensitivity, man, is freaking pretty strong. Not taking the ball again. Ball locked. Want the ball? Ah, I mean a train. Last ball. Yep, ball three. Yeah, I definitely noticed a little lag in the, in the plunger, for sure. I, I don't really see it in the flippers. I mean, the flippers are going when I wanted them to go. But this is with everything turned off. Ball. Shoot left ramp for 2x jackpot, 20 million. Left ramp. It's showtime! Raise the dead! What is going on? Oh, okay. Ah, drain the multi ball again. Not so good. Okay, so I'm not seeing much lag on here myself. It's definitely playable. I think it's definitely playable with everything turned off. Okay, I'm gonna go play it on Steam now.